sunshine. How was your night? Mm. You know, I've never known any other man. And I don't think that's any other like him. Uh oh, come on, sunshine. You don't say a thing like that. Now you listen, the Bible says we should not let corrupt communication proceed out of our mouth. I don't care what the Bible says. <laughs> I'm with my husband, and if I don't tell my husband how I feel, who else will I tell? Sunshine. <laughs> you made me a woman. And I'm so proud of you. Mm. <laughs> you know something, Sunshine? I uh, have thought about that thing you asked for. The beauty parlor. I think you should have it. <laughs> Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> thank There's really nothing wrong with the business. It's just the motive that might be wrong. Mm? You're the best husband in the world. You are the best <laughs> wife. <laughs> yes, there. I have to rush to work, all right? Mm. Okay. Mm. Take care of yourself. And let the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. has agreed to allow me open the beauty parlor. We can now enslave as many as we want. So what do you want? All the beauty products from the master. The false nails, hair attachment, nail polish, the entire kit. Everything that will appeal to the Abeza instinct. I want every woman that walks into the salon to leave with the mark of the master. Good. All that you need will be provided, beautiful one. And I can tell you that you have found favor in the sight of the immortal one. Go. Continue the way you are going, and immeasurable success should be ours. But be mindful of the pastor. The weapon of his warfare are prayers. Make sure you destroy his prayer life. That is the only way we can win this battle. Go. of the seeds of destruction. seriously about something? What is it? Your wife. What about her? I saw her today at the market. Gabriel, you're my best friend. And if I can't be straight with you, I can't be straight with anyone else. The kind of clothing she had on doesn't befit a pastor's wife. I think you should seriously talk to her. Gideon, I am also very worried. Very, very worried. I know there's something wrong somewhere, but I do 
not know exactly what it is. You can't believe it, Gideon. Anytime I am with her, I don't, I don't seem to know myself. I don't. I must be very frank with you, Gideon. The woman I have in my house right now is not the same woman I married. Then maybe you should go down on your knees and ask God for direction. I try. I really do try. Even that is becoming very, very difficult. Let us pray. Come. Father Lord, we thank you. Father Lord, we give you all the glory. We bless your holy name. These products are very nice. Use them. I've never used them before, so I wouldn't know how good they are. It's true. Give it a try. Hi. Hi. Welcome, Hi. mother. No, you've never used them before. It is actually new. In fact, they were specially created for me. By the time I'm through with your nails, men will never be able to take their eyes off you. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you just pulling my legs? Why should I? Listen, my dear. I am the pastor's wife. And when I tell you this thing works, it does work. Natal's range of products were formulated with special ingredients to attract men. <laughs> Do you know that I literally have to fight with my husband every night? Are you serious? <laughs> You'll be shocked how effective it is. I actually use their hair attachment, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, I think I have one here. That's nice. Their hair attachment, their nail polish, their lipstick. Take a look at this. It's beautiful. Yeah. You like it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Beautiful. Like I said, by the time I'm through with you, you'll be looking. Mm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I want to see it. Okay. See it, yeah. <laughs> now listen, we are going to storm the portals of darkness. That is why we must prepare. Because this program that we are about to embark upon is all important in this end time. Now to this end, from tomorrow, all of us here as members of the church council must embark on a seven day period of prayer and fasting as well as abstinence we must travel in the spirit amen? amen we must arm ourselves with the mighty weapons of our warfare which we know are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds amen, amen. you know the bible says that the effectual and fervent prayer of a righteous man just one righteous man availeth much now listen very carefully. All of us here must ensure that all the people around us, family, spouse, children, servants, workers, everybody around us must be in a position of grace. We must allow no opening whatsoever. We must have allow no opening for the devil to enter because when he enters, he will come to destroy that which we plan to embark upon and we forbid that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Gabriel, please come and lead us in a prayer of benediction. Amen. Oh, glory. Glory, glory, glory. glory. Yes. Let us share the grace. Yes. The, the grace, grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.
Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And you are supposed to be fasting too. Does fasting restrict one from satisfying the sexual needs of his wife? Oh, come on, Monica. Fasting means that we should remain clean. And who says that lovemaking is dirty? Eh? Who said that? No, no, listen, Monica. I do not want to enter into any argument with you. I just want to sleep. I am tired. Damn you, Gabriel. Damn you! This is the third time you're saying this thing this week. Maybe you want me to seek satisfaction outside. Maybe that's what Monica. you Monica! for that matter. No, no, no. Good. Nice boy. You can go on now. <laughs> That's how it's been, sir. I just felt I should let you know. Thank you very much, my in-law. I thank you. If there's one thing you should realize that the devil is certainly a liar and will always remain a liar. And I've never seen anywhere the promises of God has failed. It has never failed and will never, never fail. And no amount of uh, weapons compiled and piled up against us shall ever, ever prosper at all. Um, Pastor, you know that uh, marriage is never and has never been a bed of roses. And uh, secondly, Monica is my only child and She's very new to married life and the intricacies of marriage that accounts for her strange behaviors. But I think if you give her some time, she will be able to catch up with the intricacies of marriage. And as sure as you go, I believe you will enjoy a very blissful marriage. Don't Thank you think so? Thank you very much, Baba. Thank you very much. Let us pray. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for this great and wonderful time. We thank you for this great intervention into our situation. Father, we believe that your spirit right now will take absolute control of the situation we are experiencing right now. And we also believe and know that once your hand comes upon a situation, it will never be the same again. We 
thank you very much for believing that our prayers are answered in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen, throwing her out of the house is not the answer. You must know the premium that God places on the institution of marriage. The Bible says very clearly, for this reason shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. She has now become flesh of your flesh and bone of your bones. You can't just throw her out. And as a man of God, you have the responsibility of bringing her back to the path of righteousness and godliness. Uh, Reverend, even when she's possessed of a marine spirit? Even if she's possessed of a marine spirit? I mean, you ought to know that even people who are possessed of evil spirits deserve to be delivered. And who can tell? Maybe the good Lord brought the both of you together for this very purpose, to work out our salvation and deliverance. Reverend, I don't know how to handle this. I even had to speak with our father. You did what? How could you have done that? You told her father that she's possessed of a marine spirit? Uh, no, I didn't tell him that. I'm surprised at you, Pastor Gabriel. You ought to know that this is a matter that you have to take to God in prayers. Get into your prayer closet and pray this thing through. Come on! You're a man of God. You ought to know the power that we have when we pray, when we get down on our knees and we intercede. Prayers have not stopped moving mountains, you know. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. I will raise up a prayer team and we will join you in prayers. We will pray alongside you. seen anything like it before. Immediately I stepped out of this place, I got two cars almost bashing into themselves in a hurry to pick me up. Wow. Since then, it has been almost madness. I told you. There are so many men willing to do anything just to have me around. <laughs> just look at me. Oh, you're looking mm, sweet. That is why I brought my friends. Oh, you brought your friends? Hi. Cynthia. Hello. Gloria and Grace. Oh, okay. They want the same beauty makeup. Okay. Maybe we can buy the Natas products. Definitely. <laughs> You're welcome. Please tell the girls what you want, okay? Can I see you in my office? Yes. doesn't. And you said men are running after you more than ever before, aren't they? My head is turning mad. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, my dear, this is an opportunity for you to make some good money. I want to. But men these days are blood stingy. You don't have to beg them for money. You can get it without begging for it. How? By using what they have to get what you need. I don't understand. Okay. How many men have you, you know, slept with in the past? <laughs> mm, I, I don't really know. 
maybe three, maybe four. With protection? No, Mama. No, no. Who needs that? <laughs> well, you do. From now on, you will use condom. Collect their seed and bring it here. The people in charge of Natas Laboratories in India will do something for you. The men will become sterile while you receive wealth beyond your wildest imagination. Mm. Isn't that a terrible thing to do? You just said you like good things. Yes, yes I do. So, what would your answer be? I don't have anything to lose, do I? No, 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 you don't. You don't. Uh, I guess yes. Good. Please, if it works for you, do tell your friends, okay? I will. <laughs> I don't like keeping good things to myself <laughs> alone, so... <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. So, I'll tell you. Destruction. We must strike first. What do we do, Superior One? He must be kept away from the members of that church. Paralyze him if need be. Be the only one to have access to him. Let us call down the power for you.
enough reports of our young ladies in this church dressing indecently. And as elders of this church, I expect you to do something about it. Pastor <coughs> Vito, did you see him? Yes, Reverend. It took me almost three hours trying to persuade Sister Monica. But we have to do something to save Pastor Gabriel. He is paralyzed from the waist down. Jesus! What? What? Sister Monica doesn't allow anyone to see him and has even removed all Christian literature, including the Bible, from the house. Even the Bible? Yes, Reverend. I see. The devil is manifesting his true colors at last. What do we do, Reverend? What do we do? We fight, of course. We fight. We will. We must fight for the life of our yes. pastor. Yes. For we will fight. Oh, fight, we will fight. Now, I want all of you here to go together as a team and pull out that stronghold in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Imagine the cheek of it all. What do you want? We have come to pray for our pastor. Your pastor doesn't need your prayers. I'm sure he can pray for himself if he wants to. We demand to see him. Unfortunately, your demands cannot be met. Your pastor doesn't want to see you or anybody else. Good day. They came to pray for you, but I wouldn't let them. Why would you let them? Gabriel, have you ever wondered what is happening to you? Well, maybe it's time to tell you. My job here is almost finished. You were the only obstacle impeding the expansion of our kingdom. We had to destroy you first. I was given that task and a crown of honor awaits me because I have done my job well. I've also started spreading the good news of our gospel by establishing Natas Hair Salon and Beauty range of products. Thanks to you, honey. Henceforth, any woman who uses the weaving on her hair, the nail polish, the powder, or even the perfume becomes the slave of the mighty one. And any man who sleeps with her is also enslaved. That is the job I was given to do. And not even you, a pastor, could stop me. <laughs> you, you are the devil. No, just our favorite daughter. <laughs> should happen to Pastor Gabriel. All of us here, each and every one of us, is going to be held accountable. Now, we must ascend to the high places and tear the devil's kingdom down. Amen? Yes, amen.
Amen. We must free our brother from the stranglehold of the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, let us say a short but powerful prayer right now. Amen. Immortal and invincible God, yes. we come to you right now with a petition concerning our brother Gabriel. We say, Father God, all the evil forces holding him bound right now, we call them bound in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We lose him right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, we cast asunder. Gabriel, if you think you're going to come out of this alive, then you're a fool. Even if the man you serve comes back and dies for you a second time, it won't save you. Mother calls me. I'm coming, Mother. I must finish this job. I'm coming, Mother.
God, it's a vogue. Bless you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Can you say that? Hallelujah. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Oh 